Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial, we are going to be working on these heart and beaded eyeglass cables. These are really cute and lightweight. I love these things. I use them all the time with my, I'm going to say special glasses. <laughs> For those of you that know, there's a reason I'm saying that and I'm not Makes me feel old because they're bifocals, okay? That's why. <laughs> but I wear these on my special glasses because anytime I'm doing like cross stitch or up close crocheting, I use these or I, sh I said up close crocheting. What I should have said was, you know, crocheting with thread. Okay, so these are, I'm going to, I am going to say right off the bat, these are not for the faint of heart. Um, I'm going to say they're not for beginners, okay? Because it does get a little daunting because of the number of stitches that are going to be on our hook. Um, speaking of that, let's just go straight into what you're going to need. Now, if you look, I have used... Oh, let me get my this one back. I have used different sizes of thread. And I made one with yarn, which I like. It's, I mean, it's honestly, I think it's lighter than some of the... Like, this one is definitely lighter than that one. Um, and it doesn't look bad. I, I mean, I like it, but it's just a four weight yarn with pony beads. Um, it works fine. So, I mean, you guys can use, like in today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the scrap yarn that I have from Red Heart Super Saver. It's a four weight in the color coral. I said that weird coral. <laughs> and, uh, so you can use that. And if you do choose to do the to make the yarn, we're going to use a four millimeter hook. And if you're choosing to put beads on it, because you don't have to do the beads, but if you're choosing to do the beads, you need a hook small enough to go through your pony beads. So like I have a 3.25 that goes right, right on that, you know, right on that hook. Plus there's still a little room to get my yarn through. So you're going to need a hook that's smaller than your uh, four millimeter. Now, if you choose to do like for these one, two, three, four, these four, I used Aunt Lydia's fashion uh, crochet thread size three, and I used a, I used a 2.25 millimeter hook. And then for the beads, like, cause like this bead is kind of tiny. It's a very tiny, um, hole to get into, but these round ones are a little bit bigger. So I just got the smallest crochet hook that I have or that I could find. And this one is actually a 0.75 millimeter. Now it goes right through the hole and goes into, or I mean, right through the hole of the bead and then pulls out my, um, or, I mean, and my yarn, too. So, you, if you are choosing to use the threads, so this is the size 3 thread. This is size 10. This white one is size 10 thread. And for the size 10, I used a 1 point, there we go, a 1.75 millimeter with my 0.75 millimeter hook to pull through my bead. And then, if you want to go even smaller than that, we have a size 30, which is tiny, 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 which is this green one. And for that, I use the one millimeter crochet hook and then still used my 0.75 to get that bead on. Okay, so you guys decide what you want to use, your thread or yarn. Like I said, the yarn works perfect. I mean, it's just fine to make this with the yarn. All right, so you've made the decision. Thread or yarn, okay, and get your crochet hook. Now let's talk beads. So, and like I said, you do not have to use beads. I actually, I have one I haven't finished yet. Oh, I can't reach it. The, um, I didn't put beads on, and this is a size 30 thread. I got this thread from a auction. Um, what do they call those auctions were an estate auction? Is that what it is? Um, 
And I started working with it, and then I realized, I thought, the white looks a little dirty. Like, for, especially on that one. Well, it doesn't show up in the in the video very well. But, so, I kind of I quit working with it. But, I think the more I work on the skein and maybe get down to the white that wasn't exposed on the outside of the... I said skein, I should have said cake. Um, it won't be so dirty looking. But, like I said, so you don't need a bead. Now, if you are using a bead, we're just, let's just start with the biggest one. So, Walmart sells... Let me get all this out of the way. Walmart sells in the... I believe it's the aisle with the, uh, the paints and pipe cleaners and all that stuff. They sell these packs of pony beads. I love these things. These things are cool. My girls use them. They make stuff... Actually, I think they have their own set. But, you know, they make um, those little keychain bead animal things. They make those out of these. And Walmart just came out with a new I don't know, pack or set, whatever you want to call it. And they're all like a pretty pastel color. And then, like the ones I used on these, I actually I dug out of my daughter's, <laughs> my daughter's craft sets. But, you are going to need... I'm going to say 15 pony beads of whichever color you choose. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about why 15 in a minute. So get yourself some pony beads, at least 15, if you're making the yarn, or if you're making it out of yarn. Now, if you're doing the threads, so I'm going to start with just the size 3 crochet thread. Put that there so you can see it. So if you choose the size 3 crochet thread, I used, from Walmart, they have strings of these glass beads. Um, if I remember right, I believe these are right across the aisle from the yarn. In my Walmart, they're right across the aisle from the yarn. But I used, like for this purple one, I used, let's see, there's four strands on here. I use the second to biggest bead with my size three, but they have a bunch of different ones that are so pretty. And I, I just kept, I wanted to just keep buying and buying and buying. And then I thought, well, hold on, I'm not going to have that many eyeglass cables. <laughs> they had these, which I thought looked awesome with this white crochet thread. And, uh, Let's see. They also have... Now, I didn't have enough of these. I wish I would have thought ahead. They also have these packs. And then there's, you know, that... See that little bitty hole on that bead? That's why we got our 0.75 millimeter to get in there, pull up the yarn, and... Yeah. But these are very, very pretty. I wish I would have gotten more of these, but I didn't think about it. Um... And then I found some of those pastel blue ones. So you can get those from Walmart. Now for these, let me put this up. For the size, uh, I'm going to leave this one out. This is a size 3, but it also, I use the same kind of bead on the size 30 thread. Walmart has these bead packs. Oh, let me get this off there. Has these bead packs. I'm going to leave this here so you can see what it is. Um, basically, it's. I think this is more for like jewelry making and things, but I liked them. I thought they were really pretty. So, I used this pastel pink, this pastel pink right here with this green size uh, 30 crochet thread. Still the same 0.75 millimeter crochet hook. This is one of my favorites. And then I used a gold, a really pretty gold. I think it's this one right here with this red size 3 crochet thread. And I really like the golden red. Well then I used the copper 
the copper beads. Um, there they are. This, these copper beads right here with the size three crochet thread. And then I even fell more in love with that one. <laughs> so that's what I've been using on my eyeglasses. Okay, so, oops. Get your beads, get you the material you choose, meaning your thread or your yarn, get your hooks. And then there's one last thing we're gonna need. We're gonna need something to hold the cable to our glasses. Now I found on Amazon these little black rubbers, rubber pieces I should say, <laughs> and it came in a pack of a hundred. So they're definitely gonna be more tutorials for eyeglass cables. But what they are is just this little black rubber piece with a metal coil around it. Now, those of you that know more than I do about these things, tell me if I'm wrong. But, like on here, I have them where it's just one piece and then it's attached to my, or I mean one hoop is on the arm of my glasses and then the other hoop is just attached to the cable. I, it can go like that, but I thought it went with both hoops on the on the you know, the earpiece of your thing, but it won't fit. So I'm thinking maybe I was wrong and it is this way, but this is how we're going to do it. Now there's two ways you can wear them. I kind of like it. I'm going to put the, uh, the link in the description box for these two. Now to wear these, you can wear them up close to your eyes or to your face like this, or you can pull them to the back and wear them behind your ear. I guess it's just kind of personal preference. I kind of like them closer up here. That way I can just toss my glasses off my face and let them hang off my neck. I like wearing them like that. Um, I'll insert some pictures here of what they'd look like, you know, up when you have them like this or when they're to the back. Okay, so get all your decisions made, get all the materials you're gonna need, and we're gonna get started. So like I said, I am going to be making mine with yarn today. First of all, because I like, I actually like this on my glasses, and second of all, it's easier for um, tutorial purposes. All right, now the reason I said that we're going to need to add 15 beads, if you choose, you don't have to do that at all, is because I like the length of about 26 inches from ear to ear. Now, you don't have to do that. You guys can have whatever length you want. Um, I think mine are all 26. Yeah. I like that length. Um, you guys can play around with this. And you can, you know, have it longer. Maybe you don't like it that long. Um, and the reason it's going to be 15 is because I'm not exactly sure how many beads we're going to need. And I'd rather be safe than sorry. <laughs> I'd rather have too many than not enough. So let's see. What color am I going to pick? I'm liking the green. I think I might go with the pastel green. So I'm going to take... Oh, wrong one. Where's my little... Here we go. My 3.7 or 3.5 millimeter hook. My The one I'm using to do my beads. I am just going to take some and put them on my yarn. And I'm gonna do 15 of them. So that was two. There's four. There's six. I guess I should show you what I'm doing. All I'm doing, picking up two, putting a loop on my hook, pushing them through. Pull them all the way. And there you go. 
So that's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Can I do three? Eleven, twelve, thirteen? I think I can do that many. There we go. <laughs> now I lost count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, there's my 15 beads. So that should be plenty enough. I lost the top to my beads. Oh. So I'm going to put this to the side. All right, now we are going to get started with our heart. <clears throat> so I'm going to go to my 4 millimeter, and I'm going to get a slip knot on my hook. And I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Now back into that very first chain, we're going to work a treble. So yarn over twice. Go into our first chain. Mine's a little tight. And then we're going to work our treble. So what we have here are two posts. Our chain and our treble. And this is what we're going to work around to create the heart. So like right here is the po the chain and the treble. And that's what we're going to work around to make the heart. Okay, so we worked our treble into the very first chain. Now we chain two. One and two. Okay, now this is where it's going to get, this is where it gets a little tricky where... I kind of suggest this is not for beginners. Um, what we're going to do is work two doubles. Basically what it is, is a um, two double crochets together. We're just not going to finish it. And then we're going to work two trebles crochets together, but we're not going to finish it. And then we're going to work two triple trebles together, not finish it. And then one quadruple treble and not finish it. So, um, I'm going to work this and talk it, talk you guys through it. And then I'm going to show you my little special trick that I use to help me remember. So first we're going to start with the two double crochet together, but not finish it. Yarn over, go in and we're working around that treble. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. That's the first half of our two double crochet together. Now we yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So that is, so here is our beginning loop, and then here is the two double crochet together. Now, unworked, by what I mean by saying unworked is to actually finish that two double crochet together, we would yarn over and pull through two, and that's two double crochet together, right? But we're not going to do that. We're going to leave those two loops on our hook. Okay? So now we're going to follow that same concept with a treble. Or, I, I'm sorry, with the two treble together. So we yarn over twice for our treble. Go in. And we just work that. There's the first half of our two treble together. So now we yarn over. Again. My cat just jumped up on my desk. Okay, yarn over twice again. One, two. And then go in. Pull up. Pull through two. Pull through two. Do you mind? Lay down. Okay, he's probably going to bug, bug me while I'm trying to do this. but Okay, so now we have our very first loop. Here's the two loops of our two double crochet together, and here's the two loops unworked, I should say, I'm sorry, unworked. And here are the two loops of our two treble crochet together. Now we're going to work our three, or I'm sorry, our two triple treble together unworked. So for the triple, we just yarn over three times, one, two, and three. So we go in, 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through, yeah, pull through two, stop, church. So there's the first half. I'm scooching my stitches down. So we got one more, one, two, three, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull th through two. So now we should have three, six, seven loops on our hook. So we've got the last stitch to work, which is a quadruple crochet, not finished. So that for that, we yarn over four times, one, two, three, and four. And then we go in, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. So now we should have three, six, seven, eight loops on our hook. And now we're gonna yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, 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 pull through two. Over, pull through two until we have two loops remaining and the two loops are going to be the uh, very beginning loop and then the loop we just created with the yarn overs. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through one. So basically we just did a little chain right there. And then we turn and now we're going to work the opposite side for the heart. And now, now I kind of, I want to tell you guys about my little, um, little trick that I use to know how to work this without having to put too much um, attention into it, I should say. So, like I said, we work the two double crochet together, two treble crochet together, through t two triple crochet together, and then one quadruple. Well, if you notice, for the doubles, how many times do we yarn over? A double crochet gets one yarn over. So we go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, we pull through two one time. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through two the exact same number of times that we yarned over to work the stitch. So that the first half of that unworked, obviously, stitch double right there, we yarned over, yarned over once, and then we yarned over and pulled through two loops once. And that's the first, I'm just gonna say double. So the second double, we yarn over once. Pull, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two once. So there's our two, there's our two double crochet together unworked. So now we go to the two triple, uh, treble, sorry, the two treble. So to work a treble crochet, how many times do we yarn over? Twice. So yarn over twice, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two once, yarn over, pull through two twice and that's the first please stop sir please stop that's the first treble of our two treble together unworked so for our second treble we yarn over twice go in pull up a loop yarn over pull through two once and pull through two twice and there's our second treble crochet of the two treble together so now we move on to the th two tr uh, triple crochets. I got a knot here. Okay. So for our two triple crochets, how many times do we yarn over? Three. One, two, and three. So how many times are we going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two? Three times. So come in, pull up a loop, Yarn over one, split that, one, two, and three. Scooch that down, one more, one, two, and three. So we go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, one, two, and three. So for the very last one, we yarn over, for the quadruple, treble crochet we yarn over four times one two 
three, and four. So how many times are we going to yarn over and pull through two? Four times. One, two, three, and four. So now we should have nine loops. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to follow that same concept that we did to end this side. We're going to yarn over, pull through two, 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 yarn over, and pull through two. And we're going to stop when we get to the last three loops. And then we're just going to yarn over and pull through all three. And that is our first little heart. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so if you are not adding a bead, just hold on just a second. If you are adding a bead, pull your loop up a little bit. Get your smaller hook. Don't put it on your loop. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that. We're going to turn our... You notice how the way our heart is setting... Okay, so our hoop is coming to the right of our work, of our work, and then our tail is coming to the left. We're going to hold that and turn it, and then set that down, and I'm going to bring my very first bead and butt it up right, in that, right against the back of that, uh, where I yarn, pull, yarn over and pulled through all three. Hold that right there. And now I'm going to take my smaller 3.5 hook, and I'm going to run it through my bead, and I'm going to grab my hook, or grab my loop, sorry. And before I pull my loop through my bead, I'm going to just tighten that up just a little bit. You're going to have to kind of maneuver everything a little bit. Tighten that. Pull that through my bead. I'm going to go just a tad bit tighter. And there we go. Okay? So now I'm going to pull the loop through the bead. And there you go. Now here's the thing, you see how that loop is moving on my hook loosely, not, I don't want to say loose, it easily uh, going back and forth on my hook. Let's say we were working with a six millimeter hook, just, just cause I want to show you guys what happens if you do that too tight. Okay. There. So it gets super tight on there and it mashes that bead against the bottom of the heart. And it just, it does not look right. It looks funny. So let's keep that a little loose. Get rid of the six millimeter. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my work back to the way it was to where my loop is to the right. Or, and if you're left-handed, it, I think it would be to your left. I honestly don't know. All right. Now I'm going to pull that a little tighter and then we're going to chain Four. One, two, three, and four. And then we're going to start that um, heart all over again. So we're going to go back into that first chain. Now, if it's if you worked this too tight, it is going to be a huge pain in the butt to get into that first chain. So you may need to loosen it up a little bit. But we're going to start the heart over again, so we're going to work a treble crochet into that first chain. So yarn over twice, and go right into that first, and then we are going to work a treble, just like normal. Okay, so I'm going to pause here, because I'm going to undo this work all the way to the bead, and then I'm going to show my... Um, the people that... my uh, viewers that, are, that don't want to use a bead, I'm going to show you guys what to do. Okay, I'm back. That hurts. I'm back to my my three loops on my hook. Right after we finish this side, yarn over, pull through all three. And now we're just going to chain four. One, two, three. Excuse me, please stop. And four. And then we're going to go right into that treble into the first chain. And it's just as simple as that if you're if you're not using a bead, okay? All right. I am actually I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is because somebody over here has been chewing on my beads. So I'm just going to keep going. All right. So we start the whole process over again. 
we did our chain four, trebled back into our first, and now, oh, excuse me, we chain two. And we go back around that treble with our two double crochet together unworked. Well, remember a double crochet, we yarn over once. So how many times are we gonna yarn over and pull through two? Once. So yarn over, pull through two. There's the first. There's the second, okay? So there is our, technically our first two double crochet together and worked. Okay, so now there's another little tip I wanna show you guys I am going to get Churchy out of here. He's licking himself and it's really loud. Quint. Um, I'm going to sh show you guys another little tip I use because, you know, maybe you're watching TV or you're listening to music or whatnot and you get lost in your stitches and you forget how many times you need to yarn over or how many times you already yarned over. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick I, t I learned after doing so many of these that, that's uh, quite helpful. All right, so we got our two doubles. So next we do our two trebles. So we yarn over twice. Go through two, or I mean, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one. And let's say right here you lost count of how many times. Like, crap, did I already yarn over? Do I have another one to go? I don't remember what I do. So instead of starting it all over and pulling it out, look at your look at your stitches. So you notice the bottom. Let me get a pointer here. You notice the bottom of the loops. See how the loop on my hook and then the loop closing the I'm going to say closing the, um, the loop. See how it wraps around the bottom of it right there? Right there. And right there. Let me get you guys closer. There. How's that? <laughs> so you see the, the, like the chain right here? It wraps around the bottom of that loop. Right here is where we yarned over and pulled through two and wrapped around the bottom of this loop. Ah, get out of there. And same right here. There's the loop that wraps around the bottom of this loop. Well, what do you notice about this one? This one right here. There's no loop around the bottom of it like these, right? So that tells me, okay, I know where I'm at now. I yarned over once, or I yarned over and pulled through two once. I got to do it one more time to finish the stitch. Are you hoarding it in there or what? Okay, so I got to work. Okay, so now let's say you forgot what you did because somebody's pestering you. Well, I can see my chain right there. And then two loops on, my, on the hair tells me that that's the two double crocheted together unworked. So I just did one treble. So I have to do another treble. So that's yarn over twice, pull through two, or I'm <laughs> pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's my two trebles, and then there's my two doubles. So now I need I know I need to work the two triples. So triples, how many times? Three yarn overs. One, two, three. Go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now, if you look, I mean, it's kind of obvious, right? <laughs> you need to yarn over more. All right. Now, if you get confused, look at the bottom of your other loops. See the, see the yarn over that, I, I don't know, close is the way I want to describe it. Like it closes off the bottom of that loop at the bottom of each one. And then we got one loop that doesn't. So that's how I know we need to yarn over and pull through another. So that's our first, what was it? There's our chain. There's our two double unworked, two triple, uh, treble unworked and our first triple. So I know I need another triple. Scoop my stitches over, yarn over twice, go in, or I'm sorry, three times. It's a triple. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So the very last one is our quadruple. So that's one, two, three, and four. Go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, one more, pull through two. So again, we should have eight. So that's three, six, seven, eight. So yarn over, pull through two, 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 until you have two loops left. And we're just gonna yarn over, pull through one, and then turn, and we do that all again. So now I'm, uh, if you guys need help, um, rewind the video and watch it over again. Would you please stop? And then if you still need help, my email address is in the description box. Feel free to email me anytime. Um, also just kind of an FYI, if you email me need needing help, it's very, very helpful to me if you tell me what you're needing help with. <laughs> so could, like, could you say, Hey, with the, um, a heart eyeglass cable, could you help me with yada, yada, yada? Because sometimes I get emails that'll say, I need help with knowing where the end of the stitch is. And I'm like, what? end of the stitch of what? <laughs> so, you know, kind of specify what you're needing help with. Um, and I will, it, as soon as I see the email, I'll stop what I'm doing and I will help you guys. Um, okay, so for this second half, I'm going to go a little bit a little bit faster so like I said if you need help email me rewind anything you need to do and don't forget there's also the three little dots in the bottom right hand corner of your um, of your video if you click well maybe I'm wrong maybe it's the little cogwheel thing that and you can slow your videos down um, YouTube it and it'll show you they'll show you how to do it and it, you can slow it down and you can speed them up all right so for our second half of our heart I'm going to work my two doubles, one, yeah, that's right. I'm already confused myself. I forgot I got two loops. So my two doubles, one, two, two trebles, one, two, one, and two. There's my two trebles. So my two triples, one, two, three, one, two, and three, one, two, three, one, two, split that, no I didn't, and three, all right, so I'm up to my very last stitch, which is the quadruple, I think that was four, one, two, three, four, my last loop is closed at the bottom with that uh, last loop we pulled through. All right, so now I should have nine loops. So there is three, six, nine, yarn over, pull through two, 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 until you have three loops left yarn over and pull through all three. And if you're adding your bead, I'll show you that in just a second. If you're not adding your bead, chain four and start it all over again. Treble into your first chain, chain two, two double crochets together unworked, two treble crochets together unworked, two triple treble crochets together unworked, and then your one quadruple unfinished chain through or yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two until you got two left yarn over pull through one rotate follow the same thing should have nine loops yarn over pull through two until you get to the last three pull through all three chain four and do it all over again but if you're adding your bead yarn over pull through all three rotate set down bring up your bead but it right up against the back of where we yarned over and pulled through all three. Take your smaller hook, grab your loop, pull it through. That's way too loose. So I'm going to adjust a little tighter. God, it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Mute my computer. 
So you got your bead on, and now we are going to, it's a little loose. All right, now we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then we're just gonna repeat and repeat and repeat until our piece measures um, 26 inches. So like I said, if you guys need help, email me, rewind the video, YouTube, um, how to slow your YouTube videos down and then slow the video down and uh, get your piece done and then come back here and we are going to move on to attaching to our little rubber pieces and then attaching to our glasses, all right? So I'm gonna get my piece done and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just decided I'm gonna leave mine here. Um, just for tutorial purposes, I'm just gonna leave mine short. But yours needs to be 26 inches long or however long you want it to be. So at the end of your last heart, instead of chaining four, we're gonna chain one and pull up a long loop. And then we're gonna cut and then pull that loop, all right? So now we are gonna take our little rubber pieces, get you two. And then I'm gonna get my glasses. Actually, I'm gonna have to take my other set off. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little rubber piece and we're going to run our first tail through it. Actually, it doesn't matter which tail you run through it, but I mean, w which end. We're going to run it through there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my needle, which of course I don't have one out. And I'm going to take my needle load that up oop wrong <laughs> this video between church my computer me messing up Ugh. all right so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to weave this tail in really tight to where it's um where it <laughs> where it has my little rubber piece to the end like that so i'm just going to go through all the legs right here There. Oop, don't pull your little metal piece off. But right like that. Maybe a little looser. There we go. Okay. Wrong end. Pull that back out. Okay, now I'm just going to finish weaving that in. And this is going to make it secure. It's not going to come out. Somebody's going to have to sit down and pick your... Um, weaving your uh, through your stitches out to get that out or cut it there okay so now i'm just going to snip that tail and now we're going to do the same thing on the other side put that on there get my tail leave that on my needle And now I'm just going to bring that straight through these legs. Now I'm going to take my rubber piece and I'm pull that up a little bit. About right to there. Where it's nice. Nice flat. Or not flat, but I mean... A little loose or about right there all right now I'm gonna skip some stitches and come back one more time and snip and there are our two pieces. All 
All right, now I'm just gonna take the one loop and I'm gonna run it on my, what's this thing called? The arm, the earpiece, I don't know. I'm gonna run it all the way up to the, right to where it sits next to my face. And then I'm gonna do it on this side. Obviously yours is gonna be a little bit, you're gonna have more slack than I do. <laughs> but that's it guys. You follow the same steps, steps bleh, for your, if you chose to do thread. I am going to put on, Churchy's laying on them all. I'm going to put on this real little lace one. I like this one. There. Okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Like I said in the video, if you need any help, email me and uh, in that email, try to be a little specific on what you're, on what you're needing help with. Um, and I will be more than happy to help you out. I actually just sent out a few emails helping some other people out. Um, subscribe if you guys haven't, cause I've got all kinds of stuff in the, in my head that needs to come out. <laughs> It needs to go from my head to my fingertips to yarn to video. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Comment. Let me know what you guys think. If, and uh, in my description box down there, I've got links to my Facebook. Join that Facebook group. And then ta anything that you make of mine, get on there and, ta and uh, post it. And then I want to see what it looks like. Because I love seeing when somebody makes something that I spent all kinds of time on designing and <laughs> all that so join my join my face group um facebook group follow me on instagram follow me on twitter subscribe if you haven't you guys are the best and i'll see you in the next one bye